Are you thinking about moving to Florida and maybe buying new construction? Well, guess what? I am at a new construction home site today. It's a development called The Fields and it's made by Devosta. So Devosta is the builder and they have single family homes and townhomes. I'm gonna to be touring the model homes today for some of my buyers and I'd love for you to join along and see what they have to offer. Honestly, new construction in South Florida has really gone up. I think it's going up everywhere. This community I have found to be the most reasonably priced in a really good location with also A-rated schools. So it's got some good perks. Let's go check it out and let's see if this might be the place that you decide to move to in South Florida. What's up everybody, it's April Laura, your South Florida Realtor, right here in Lake Worth. And if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about working, eating, sleeping, playing, and living in South Florida, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Honestly, we are getting so many calls, so many text messages, emails. I mean, people are contacting us because everybody wants to move to South Florida and I absolutely love it because I'm a native South Floridian and I love to show people what we have to offer. So if you're thinking about moving, relocating, or coming here to stay, then make sure you give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, heck, send us smoke signals if you have to, pigeon carrier, whatever it is, make sure you contact us because we've got your back when you're moving to South Florida. The Fields in Lake Worth is a DeVosta community and they have single family homes and townhomes. So the single family homes are one story and two story homes. They're gonna be starting base price in the 400. So 461 is the lowest base price and it goes up into the 600s as far as the base price. That is not including any of your optional add-ons and you know, depending on what you pick for your upgrades as far as cabinetry, flooring, you know, everything from cabinet handles and whether you want a laundry tub in your laundry room, if you want an extended patio, if you want brick the brick pavers to be extended outside, if you want a pool, a screened in enclosure or a lake waterfront view. So the premium lots are gonna be lots that are bigger than your average lot and or anything that is waterfront. These prices have been changing and quite frankly, it is April 3rd, 2021, and they have actually shut down taking any more contracts. They've even stopped taking backup contracts. That is a testament to what is going on in our real estate market right now in 2021. It's insane and the, the demand is much greater than the supply. So for a new construction builder to basically stop taking contracts and stop taking backup list of buyers tells you a lot. Uh, I know that construction costs have gone up significantly. I think for wood alone, it has gone up 700%. One article um, I read about a month and a half ago, and um, we have clients in contract in new construction that happened several months ago that have gotten calls and said the prices have gone up and so has your contract, even the contract that you've already signed several months ago because the demand, the pricing, everything has gone up and this builder has actually stopped taking contracts. But they will be taking contracts again within the next couple of months is what I'm being told. So it's good to know what's out there. And the Fields is a very nice community. It's well located in Lake Worth. It's right off of 441 and the Turnpike. So it's in between 441 and the Turnpike. So you have really good access to a major expressway, which is Florida Turnpike. And then 441, you don't have to pay any tolls on, but and it's a road that kind of acts like an expressway, but it's not. It's just a, a long road and um, it has double lanes each way, so it's good. You're also right outside of the Wellington community, which has a great mall, the mall at Wellington Green, and it has everything that you could possibly desire as far as 
um, living in this area. So you have all the major stores you have from Whole Foods to Trader Joe's, all the specialty stores, Fresh Market, and then you have, of course, Publix, which is a Florida grocery store, the most popular one, and you have Target, Walmart, everything. You have city, uh, city furniture, I think El Dorado, you have um, all the big gyms like LA Fitness. So Wellington was is a planned community, so they have everything there, and you're literally seven minutes away from there, five minutes away from there, depending on where in Wellington you're going. So this is a very good location and it is one of the lower, um, the lower priced new construction homes that you're gonna find in this county. So this is why it's so hot and so attractive and so desirable right now. So I definitely wanna show you this. So without any further ado, let's go look at some of the models. Okay, this is the Fox Hollow model. This is actually the main sales uh, center here at the fields. And let's go in and check it out. This has 1,901 air-conditioned square feet. And it is, it is a three bedroom, two bath. And it could be a four bedroom, okay? So, wow, when you walk in, wow, it's got a nice open concept but to the left of the door here oh hi <laughs> good sorry is, okay. is one room <laughs> okay that's the AC oh it has a really nice open concept kitchen beautiful living area but before we go over there let's go down this hall and this would normally be looks like this would normally be the washer um, laundry room water heater and then this would probably be the garage but that's turned into a sales center and down this hall it looks like there would be maybe a bathroom really large bathroom then one bedroom here obviously they took out the closet and another bedroom here's the living area and this has see, show you this angle Really pretty, very cute house. This one happens to, happens to be on the lake and has a screened in enclosure, which is nice so that you don't get a lot of the bugs and the insects that we do experience in South Florida. Obviously the model homes all have upgrades and we'd have to find out um, I have a list of the um, standards, but a lot of the models are completely upgraded. This is the master bedroom and master bath. Ooh, nice large shower. And here's the walk-in closet. All in all, oh, and bathroom. Bathroom, the toilet is behind that door. All in all, a very nice home. Again, three, two, could be a four bedroom. And I do have the floor plan. which I can give you more information on. Okay, now we are at the Fifth Avenue model. Um, I was told, I asked actually at the sales center, you know, what was the most popular models? They said the Fifth Avenue was one of them. So there's a tiny little um, covered lanai area. Honestly, it would be probably, maybe put a chair or two. So it's not like you have a, an actual covered like front porch. Right, but you might be able to sit out here, you know, with a chair 
you have a two car garage right there. So let's go in and see why this is one of the most popular models. Okay, as you come in, you see to your right hand side, uh, one bedroom slash den area. It's probably a den that you can convert into a uh, bedroom and a half bath for your guests. So that's really nice. Okay, then there's a closet and your stairwell to the right. And so this is open concept. Everything here is open, everything's modern and open concept. Okay. Cute little kitchen we have here. Nice size island. Oh, and look at this. I'm sure this is optional, but you can make this uh, extra area, sitting area, mudroom area. This is right off of the garage. Okay, and these are probably, I'm sure, all built-ins, um, additional, optional built-ins. That window is probably additional, optional, and this cut-down wall, um, but you know that you can possibly do this. So it's a really cute um, kitchen. This is the dining area. That's, that uh, table could be bigger, but that seats six, so a decent amount and you have a nice large living area I like that okay living area this dove does also have a, a covered lanai okay for entertaining outdoors and this one has a pool um, of course they put that in that's optional a screened in enclosure and it is on the lake so a waterfront lot is going to have a premium the pool is optional the extended pavers are optional. That comes, I'm sure, with a pool package, or you can do it without. Um, so remember that you're seeing a lot of optional um, items whenever you're in a model home. And let's go see what's upstairs. This is, would be great for a, small, a young and growing family. Oh, so you have a nice loft area. This is great for teenage kids, younger kids. They can have their play area while the adults are downstairs or vice versa. This looks like it should, yep, I think this is the master. Okay, tray or coffered ceilings that does have some extra design work, all optional. Okay, dual sinks, a nice long counter and lots of cabinet space for two people. And then on this side, you have uh, the shower and the tub area. Your closet is here. This can be built out and really hold a lot of clothes if needed and your toilet area. Let me show you the angle from this side. Okay, so you get a feel for the shower and the tub. Very nice bathroom. Okay. And right across the way is the shared bathroom for the other rooms. And there are two other rooms here, I believe. I'll show you. There's one room. Oh, this one has lots of light, lots of natural light with a walk in closet. And right next door is the second bedroom. Looks like this one might be a little bit smaller. Okay. And also has a walk-in closet. Not too walking in. It's not that big, but you have a hall closet, linen closet. And your washer dryer is going to be on the second floor here. Again, the laundry sink, the cabinetry, um, that's all optional. I'm sure it comes with the basic uh, cabinets and basic laundry sink. This laundry sink might not even be um, included. It might be optional. So all in all, a very nice home. So what kind of amenities are you going to find in the fields? Well, they are gonna have a great pool area, which has lap lanes. There's gonna be a kid's play area. There's gonna be a clubhouse. 
and, and eventually there will be fire pits, a tot lot, and tennis courts. So there will be a lot to offer here at the fields. So the HOA will cover the gated entry, so you will have a bit more privacy in this community, um, use of the amenities, and a lawn care. So you're gonna save some money there. The fields is zoned for A-rated schools at this moment. If you want more information on the schools, the school zone, or the area, definitely reach out to us and I'll give you as much information as you need. But first, drop me a comment and smash that like button. Let me know, is this information helpful? Would you like any more information to be included in my next video or maybe another area? Let me know so I can get you the information you need. But until then, let's get on with it. Okay, next up is the summer wood. And it's really cute. It's a one story. It has a nice little um, lanai front porch area, covered porch area, which is really nice. You can see they have some furniture in here, so there's plenty of room for some outdoor furniture and the ability to just hang out and see what's going on in the neighborhood. These are future home sites. Let's go in and see what this has to offer. All right, so this can be a two to four bedroom, two to three full bath home. And it has 1,861 air conditioned square feet. And with, depending on how many rooms and bathrooms you um, add, it can go up to just over three, 3,000 air conditioned square, square feet. Okay. Very pretty. So you have two bedrooms up front. So it's a split floor plan. And this model has, um, this model has the three bedroom, I believe, that is showing, but I'm not sure. So let's go on and see. Okay, so that was to the left of the front door. Now let's go over to the right of the front door. Oh, really nice laundry area. Let's see what's in this door. Okay, AC handler, very nice. And I believe this door would be the garage which they're using as a sales room. So we won't go in there. Now this looks like it could be um, another room, right? So it looks like they, what they've made for the model is just an open door and de den area. But I'm sure that you could add a door to have um, an extra bedroom there. So that's one of the extra bedrooms that um, they're basically saying can be done. And look at this. Beautiful open concept, which everybody kind of wants right now. I'm finding a lot of my buyers really want that open concept look look at this outdoor living i love when i find this in homes this goes all the way back and then this side opens as well and now you bring the indoor out and the outdoor in this is phenomenal. I love this, and I love that they have this feature, and um, you just don't find this in a lot of homes, and especially homes at this price point, so I would say this is a really nice feature if you like indoor, outdoor, California-style living. And it is such a beautiful day today. It's, what, the April 3rd, and it is beautiful. We woke up to a really nice, cool front that came through overnight, which was a blessing because it was so hot the last few days. It was about, oh, it, was in the, it was in the 90s. It was in the high 80s and 90s the last four or five days. And it's just getting really hot and summertime is just around the corner. So it's really nice to have a little bit of a break and I could just see winter time and you know, some beautiful days with these doors open. You have a screened in lanai area so that you don't have to worry about all the bugs that we do have in South Florida. So that's an easy fix. And um, you got a nice brick paver area. You have plenty of room for furniture and it wraps around and I'll show you that. So this is a nice feature, I love it.
So the fields at Devasta, they offer a 10 year limited structural warranty. So you don't have to worry about structural issues for 10 years. And then a five year coverage on various types of like water infiltration and internal leaks. So that's important because we do live in um, South Florida and we have a lot of tropical storms and various storms that come through, including hurricanes. Um, there's a two year coverage on the workability of the plumbing, the electrical, the HVAC system, and other mechanical systems. And then there's a one year coverage on materials and work workmanship. So that's kind of like one year on anything that like wiggles and jiggles. And the warranty is transferable. So that is a great plus. So Devasta includes smart home from the ground up, which means on the base home, they are all pre-wired for connectivity. So you're gonna have wire enclosure, wireless access points um, wiring, you're gonna have hardwired rooms and CAT6 wiring. So that's included, but if you actually want it to be a smart home, then you have to do that in an upgrade, do an upgrade package, and they have you know different upgrade packages, including voice control, wireless access points, climate control, garage door opening, front door locks opening, and white glove service. Now you could do it through the builder or you could, you already have the connectivity uh, buying the base model. So you could do that at some point, either little by little in the future or all together in the future at some point, if you choose. And they also have an a la carte option as well. So you can pick and choose the things that you'd like to add. If some things are more important, maybe you wanna save a little money and wait for the future, you can do that as well. Okay, this is the Leland townhome. And this offers three bedrooms, two full baths, and one half bath. And it has 1,879 square feet of living air conditioned square footage. Um, that's not including the two car garage and not including any outside living area. So when you walk in here, it is uh, very spacious again. These townhomes are just great. There's a lot of living space, great large islands. I really like them. It's just, I haven't seen such a spacious townhome in quite a while. The Leland starts at The next one, the Adirondack, is it starts at $381,991. So they're both the same square footage, and it's kind of nice to have one that is on the corner so you have more um, natural light that comes in. But, um, you know, they're larger, so they're gonna be in the high threes to start with but really nice living space. So the homeowner association fee here ranges depending on which area you're in because they have different areas, the manor series, the province series, the estate series, and then the townhomes. So in the homes, they range anywhere between $239 
and one cent to two hundred sixty four dollars and one cent but you know what all of the prices right now are kind of changing so by the you know I'm not sure if when you reach out to me whether or not these are gonna be the same numbers or not because um, even the home prices are changing so right now today it is these are the prices um, but they may change I'm not sure the townhomes uh, are about 223 and 232 depending on which area which type of townhome you're choosing as far as HOA fees now this community also has a CDD fee which is not common in every new construction but this happens to have a CDD fee which is an extra fee now in the estate series the manor series and the province series they're gonna range between ninety five dollars and sixty six cents per month to one hundred and four dollars and four cents per month that is going to be added to your taxes so it is important for you to know that for the town home series it's seventy five dollars and two cents per month again added to the ta annual tax bill that that is different than the HOA you have an HOA in this community and you have a CDD and I can explain more of that uh, if you need it or want that information you may be moving to Florida and not understand what a CDD is and it has to do with building the infrastructure and a few other things and I'd love to discuss that with you just give me a call and or shoot me an email and reach out somehow so that I can give you this information so this is the Adirondack it is a three bedroom two baths and one half bath townhome it's 1879 square feet of living space and it looks pretty spacious so you do have a two-car garage as well and it really feels and lives like a single-family home this is a lot of space and you don't feel cramped at all it really feels like you're at a home not a town home so they really planned this out well and you do have a patio in the back as well this one is up against just a tiny little berm with some hedging in the back. Upstairs, you will find three bedrooms. First is the master suite, and it's very spacious. It does have two walk-in closets, so that is a bonus. And the bathroom is also very spacious. to find that perfect place that you're possibly thinking about moving to or looking at or wanting to go see you got to give me a call definitely shoot us an email send us a text give us a call send the smoke signals send the pigeon carrier however you want to get in touch with us because we've got your back when you're moving to south florida and until next video i'll catch you later